On the 13th of August 1925, one of the most important undertakings for the economic and social life of Ireland began when the first sod was cut at Arda Crusha, County Clare, marking the beginning of the construction of the 90 megawatt Shannon hydroelectric scheme. The driving force behind the scheme was a young Irish engineer, Thomas McLaughlin, an employee of the German firm Siemens Schuckert. Together, McLaughlin and Siemens convinced the Irish government of their plans to harness the River Shannon and create the first national integrated electricity system in the world. The scheme ultimately led to the establishment of the Electricity Supply Board, ESB, on the 11th of August 1927. But Lachlan was the natural leader and became ESB's first managing director. The project cost £5.2 million, about 20% of the government's revenue budget in 1925. It was a huge undertaking, employing over 5,000 people at its peak. The logistics were fascinating. Water was diverted to the station from the River Shannon downstream of Killaloo via a dam and intake weir at Paratine and diverted to the power station along a new 12 km headrace canal that was constructed using bucket excavators. A dam and power station were built at Arda Prussia. A 2 km tailrace canal was blasted through the rock to route the diverted water back to the River Shannon in Limerick City. Two rivers were diverted. A double navigation lock was incorporated into Arda Prussia Dam and four new bridges were constructed where the intake canal and tailrace cut across roads. The scheme was officially opened on time and just slightly over budget on the 29th of July 1929 by President William Cosgrave. It was one of the largest engineering projects of its day and was a revolutionary infrastructural development, bringing electricity to towns and cities, setting the foundation for rural electrification and paving the way towards a brighter future. In the early days, Arna Crusha supplied all the country's electricity needs. Nowadays, it contributes around 2% of total demand. Throughout its almost 90-year production life, Arden Crush Station has been and remains a renewable, environmentally friendly and carbon-free source of electricity.